My name is Jessie, and I am from Tapawango Farms on Three Mile Road in Sault Ste. Marie. How many of you see the goat farm when you go past? And you say, yeah, lots of you. That is, yep. We are Tapawango Farms. Um, we have purchased the property about one year ago, and we are turning it into a nonprofit outdoor learning center to work with at risk, neglected, and abused kids through the whole Sault Ste. Marie area. I have some information today about the farm, if you'd like to um, take it with you. We also have a website, it's called tapawingofarms.org. You can learn about more about what we're doing. Um, we work with the Sioux Tribe a lot. We work with the Department of Human Services and um, the school. We do a lot of field trips. We also do birthdays. If anybody has a birthday coming up and would like to have a birthday party on the farm, we do do that. Um, we have, actually this week, we have something brand new that we're trying. It's our first annual community days. We're having farm tours. There'll be an arts and crafts festival. Um, there will be different raffles. And there will be, oh, the Sugar Island Lions Club is going to be there too. And there'll be so that's very exciting. Uh, we also have day camp. We already did the five to eight week old camp, but the <coughs> nine to 12 year old camp will be the end of July and the first week of August. I did bring some information about that as well. Um, are you ready? Yeah, Amanda, are we ready? Of course. We are really excited to introduce Clifford of Drummond Island and his mom, Nancy Bailey. So, And this is this is Jesse Beckett. She's doing such a great job. Give everybody a round. He's really got a, a good program starting out there. It's all brand new, so I hope you will all take time to check it out. This is my sound technician, who is also my sister Amanda Bailey. My sister. I forgot something. What did I forget? The books. The books. The books. Where did I put them? In the suitcase. Oh, that's right. They're in the suitcase. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, I got the books! Yay! <laughs> well, we can't have a reading program without books. Oh no! That's not no books. That's not no books. That's Tim McGill. That's Tim McGill. Jackson. Tim, I told you you couldn't come. Come on. Who wants to see some dog tricks? He yeah. says he's here all day. Jump! Thank you. 
gosh, there's a horse in the library! <laughs> This is Clifford. Did you guys um? Did you guys see him put his head down when we passed by that little pit over there? He sees the camera. He's a terrible camera. Did you hear that little sound he just made? That little. That's like a purr. That's a horse saying he's happy. Clifford loves being in the library. She says, "Where's my books?" It's supposed to be books. When he put his head back, I'll move him over here. And he put his head down, down by that pit. That meant he said, oh, I gotta watch that spot. He was checking out the whole place. You see his eyes? How he has one eye on the side of his head. His eyes are real big. Horses have great, what we call peripheral vision, meaning that they can see almost all the way behind them. And about the only place that he can't see from straight on, okay, it's right there. Although I'm not really sure that's true because he's looking right into the camera. <laughs> can you stay here? Okay, so I got, I, got a little, uh, I got a little question and answer thing I wanna do with Clifford. You guys think I should just turn him loose? Yeah. Sorry, you guys said you'd be kind. Are you a good boy? Are you, can you do theater in the round? <laughs> Are you good all the time? No. <laughs> can you catch this ball? Can you this ball? Can you get it? Bring it here, good boy. Bring it over here. That's a really good question. What do you think? Because he's what? Because he's supposed to. That's a good. That's a good answer for a kid. There, that's for you. <laughs> All right. Who can guess how old Clifford is? Twenty. Now I want to see a show of hands. Somebody said, what did you say? 20? That's a good guess. Wow, you guys are guessing old. What do you think? 35. 35? Whoa. Five. Five. Nice. He doesn't really. 10. Good guess. Yes, you can tell the age by looking at their feet. 21. Correct. Did you know, um, yes, that's right, you can tell their age by looking at their teeth. Clifford, how old are you? Oh, I'm not going to make it count to 21. <laughs> so, you know what his favorite treat is? What do horses like to eat? He's 
just like a crow. He's just looking. <laughs> Jessie has a bunch of horses of her own, and she's like, oh my god, he's going over there. She, she um, has little ponies, she has a bunch of goats, and she has children, and it's that mothering instinct with the human children. I have no primate children. So that's why she has the instinct, and I'm like, ah, oh, let him go. <laughs> Okay, now do this one. No. <laughs> hey, he's looking at the other foot. 
frisky dog and we do speed racing with the dogs and high jumping. I know you're 